I want to open a media company that I don't really have to manage just because I want to create authentic content and help people learn to create their own better content. Anyways, that's up. <laughs> Tell me about that media company. So it would be basically a production company, whereas I would direct people on how to bring out their authentic message, maybe even create oh. packaging to, you know, to share with people. This is how to really harness and identify your passion and put that into a creative medium. But then let amazing photographers use this space. Let amazing producers and editors do that so that I don't have to be hands on every single day, but I can still bring out the passion in people. That's such a cool idea. Okay, but manage so, my time. Well, I have a question for both of you. Yes. And I think you're gonna have maybe slightly different answers. Danny, I'll start with you on this okay. one. With this whole influencer marketplace, where is it going next? We know what it is right now. What's next for this? I don't know exactly what's next. I don't think it's gonna to disappear tomorrow, but I also right. don't think that this is forever. Uh, eventually, this is gonna burn out, it's gonna run its course, pretty much like everything else. And so the real, the real trick here is to say what's next. And uh, it's not about abandoning her fundamentals or leaving her YouTube audience. It's really about sticking to her core while also trying to find a place to live outside of social media. Okay, so why do you think it's not gonna be forever? Well, nothing is forever. Okay, but also, fair, fair. also, I see it getting more and more saturated, mm -hmm. and I see people wanting very different things, and getting, not with Cassandra's content, but getting a little frustrated with the way it looks, or the amount of perfection, and it's making people sometimes feel bad about themselves. Uh, so I do think that either there's gonna be a fundamental shift in the way social media is done, or it's gonna peter out and we're gonna find out whatever that next big thing is. Right, okay, and for you? Where do I think influencer marketing is headed? Well, like we were saying before, <laughs> where do I think that influencer marketing is headed? Well, like I was saying before, Everything right now is moving in fast forward. Yeah, like and so super fast, you mean? Super okay. fast forward. And right now, the industry is kind of at a standstill. We don't know what's coming next. It used to be celebrities, but I see celebrities from traditional media becoming much more authentic, showing their real size. Right, like not being so controlled. Not message, being so controlled right. with their message, really expressing who they are outside of their role as an actor or as an actress. But also on the media side from digital influencers, I see influencers dabbling in more professional business models, opening their own companies, being more than just a vlogger, being an actual business person. Right. So it's kind of this amalgamation of the two. And how is that going to present in the future? We don't know. Because right now magazines are folding, people aren't watching as much TV. And when you look at the, the brands on the top lists from the past 30 years, the only one who's been there consistently over the last decade is like what? GM, GM Motors, whereas all of the new media companies today are Facebook, Google, Alphabet, Tech, which is all changing. They didn't exist 15 right. years ago. Right. So what's going to happen in the next 15 years? It hasn't even been created yet. Right. Is that so, so incredible yeah. that we're yeah. here now? Isn't like, it? Sort of deciding what the future is going to look like? Exactly. And really being part of pioneering that. So as Danny said, I don't think influencer marketing is forever, but I don't think celebrities are forever. I think it's this new weird connection of both where authenticity is at the forefront. Mm -hmm. um, doing something that's bigger than yourself. I think that the world is really getting more woke and realizing we need to start supporting the brands and the causes and the things that we actually believe in. So I, I think it's this very interesting combination uh, of things that are happening. So can I add one little layer onto that? Yeah. Because um, I agree with both of you totally. But you know what I almost feel like is the next phase of this Ooh. is really having more of a direct conversation with the consumer, like more face to face. Authenticity. But like this close. Yeah. You know, I think that we, uh, you know, stores are empty, right? Yeah. Everybody's shopping in stores. We need to find a way to actually like touch each other, you know, in meaningful ways, physically, yeah. be this close to each other. Um, I think there's an opportunity to really find a way in to their every day. Just to share a moment. I mean, you see coffee shops these days who say no Wi-Fi, sit down and talk. Right. And it's like, are we that addicted to our phones that we no longer know how to make a conversation? Yes. And I'll tell you, you walk into a store, the racks are full, but the floor is empty. But the second that you bring an influencer or a celebrity from traditional mm -hmm. media in to do a meet and greet, everybody yeah. cares, everybody wants yeah. to be there. Yeah. Things start selling. Yes. So it's where does that traditional celebrity get authentic? Where does that vlogger take the 
business to the le next level. Mm -hmm. And do they get together and create a love child that yes, creates something yes, epic? Yes, and I think awesome. that that's what the future is. Yay, thank you for that beautiful response. Thank you for joining me for this nice little walk. <laughs> thank you for having us. Thank you. <laughs>